Another option available through the Graphite Modeling Tools is the Conform Paint Tool. This tool is part of the PolyDraw tools available on the Freeform tab of the Graphite Modeling Tools ribbon. The Conform Paint Tool lets you use a paintbrush in order to mold an object to the shape of another object. This can be used to create a low polygon object based off the surface topology of a high resolution model. In this lesson, we're going to generate a low polygon version of a high resolution terrain mesh by using the Conform Paint Tool to match the surface topology of the high resolution geometry. In 3ds Max, click on the application button in the upper left hand corner of the interface. Select Open from the drop down menu. Navigate to the Chapter 3 folder inside the Understanding 3D Project Scenes folder and open the file Chapter 3 Conform Paint 01.max. When the file opens, you'll notice a fairly high resolution terrain map. Go ahead and select the terrain object. If you look at the statistics in the upper left hand corner of the viewport, you'll notice that there are two listings. I've turned on both the total and the selected object's polygon and vertex count. The terrain object has 194,688 faces. While this is not a tremendous number of faces, it far exceeds the 1600 face limit we have for creating this terrain as part of a real-time application. In the viewport, right-click. From the quad menu, in the upper right-hand quadrant, choose the Unhide All option. This unhides a simple planar rectangle that contains 1600 faces exactly the number we need for our low polygon model. Click on the plane object to select it. In the command panel, click on the modify tab. This will bring up the graphite modeling tools ribbon. From the graphite modeling tools ribbon, click on the freeform panel. We're going to use the conform brush that's located on the polydraw panel of the freeform tab. Before we can begin using the Conform Brush, there's a few things that we need to set up. In the PolyDraw panel, click the down arrow to the right-hand side of the Grid option. From the drop-down list, click on the Surface option. Click the Pick button in order to select the object that we're going to use to conform to. After clicking the Pick button, Click on the high resolution terrain located beneath our low poly object. This now sets the high resolution version of the Asheville terrain as our designated conform to surface. Make sure the low poly terrain stand in object is selected. In the PolyDraw panel, click on the conform brush. Notice that the floating conform options panel is now visible. There are several options available with these floating options panels. If we put our cursor to the right-hand side of the panel, you'll see two small icons appear in the gray sidebar. The top icon allows us to place this panel into the ribbon. The second icon changes the orientation of this panel. Currently, the orientation is horizontal. We can tell this when we click on the arrow located on the right-hand side of the panel. You'll notice that the panel expands out to the right. To close the panel, click the vertical bar to the right-hand side of the open panel. Put your cursor back over the Conform Options panel. Then click the Toggle Orientation option. This changes the orientation to vertical. Click on the down-facing arrow at the bottom of the Conform Options panel. Notice that the additional options now open beneath the panel instead of to the right. Let's make some changes to the conform options. We're going to freeze both the X and Y axis. In the Freeze Axis option, click the X and the Y axis options. Make sure the Strength percent is set to 100. Let's change the Full Strength brush size. Go ahead and type 100 into the Full Strength value and press Enter. 
set the falloff value to 120, and then press Enter. We want to set the conform to a value of 1. This will make sure that the conform brush moves all the vertices of our object all the way to the surface. Type 1 into the conform value and press Enter. In the viewport, click the low poly terrain stand-in object and move the brush back and forth along the surface. You should see the geometry of the low poly object conforming to the high resolution surface beneath it as you brush. You may have to go back over spots more than once. If you just do one quick brush, it will not go all the way down to the surface. This tool is an extremely helpful tool when you bring in models that have been created in other programs and have a very high number of polygons. It allows you to draw a low polygon object and mold it to the shape of a high polygon version. Once you've finished conforming the surface, click on the Conform option in the PolyDraw panel to turn off Conform Paint. If you want to see the results of the Conform Paint in your low poly object, Press Alt-Q on the keyboard to isolate the terrain stand-in object. You can see that the stand-in has taken on the shape of the high-resolution object and is only using 1600 polygons. Click the Exit Isolation Mode button to exit isolation mode. Click on the Application button in the upper left of the interface. Click Save As from the drop-down menu. In the Save File as dialog, click the plus in the lower right-hand side of the dialog to increment this file on Save. If you're asked to overwrite a file, go ahead and overwrite it.